We proceed now to create the parallels. So we will create points where the parallels will be positioned. So at any position. First point here. Okay. The other point. The other side. Okay, this point, right click, move linear. Before moving, we have to change the uh, working plane. So we will go to grid number one and I am to view, work plane, select and locate the work plane here. So our X will be in the same direction of the rafter. Okay, going again to the 3D. Okay, now I'm going to move this point. Right click, move linear by minus 200 in the X, not in the Y, clear. Minus 200 as per our grids. Now move and the other one will be moved this one will be moved by 200 in the x direction okay between these two points i'll create five points between this point and this point then i will copy these points Copy from this cigarette to this cigarette. Okay. Then we we'll go to create the parallels. Select the beam, shift and select. Then from here, we'll go to the light gauge profiles and select the C section. 20203 by 70 apply okay and the color will select different color like this then click from this point to this point then we'll see the section go to grid one the section like this then select and we will rotate to the front we'll see how it will be it should be back modify okay then the on plane should be from left i think now it's okay as you see now selecting this one we will make copy to the other points from this point to this point yes and to this point this point also this point this point this point we go to the 3d now, now our parallels created like this now we'll create the connection between the parallel and the rafter. We'll go here to the component, type here number one, then scroll down to the call roll overlap connection. We'll select this one, then by clicking on the rafter, then the parallel, then the mid mouse button the connection created like this as you see we can edit this connection okay here we have two cases this is if the cleat or the connection at the end of the parallel and here there is 
and here with the connection at the overlap here we select under the man from center of the cleat and here 3 mm equal let us make it 0.5 mm the gap from the center to one side of the parallel okay we go to the cleat and we will select plate profile and go to the plate and let us select 200 by 8 mm apply ok modify to be like this we can reduce the height of the plate a little bit and we can make it 175 apply ok modify now it will be like this then go to the bolts and here we select standard of the bolts and we use 16 dia and here these selections we will select this one and the other one select this one then the distances here this is distance make it 25 and here 25 or let us make it 30 by 30 and here 25 then here you have two rows at 50 and here also two rows at 50 and this is 45 okay modify so the connection will be like this we can increase this one a little bit to 65 modify apply okay so this is the connection now so the same we click on the rafter then the parallel mid mouse button rafter and the parallel then the mid mouse button like this we will create the other connections Okay, select rafter, the parallel with mouse button. Okay, now we will copy these parallels to the other bay. So right click, copy from the cigarette to the cigarette to the cigarette. Right click interrupt, then here we will delete this connection, select the others, we will create because it is the front connection here, delete, then again select this connection, select this rafter, this parallel, this parallel and with mouse button. The connection will be created like this, as you see. Again, this rafter, this parallel, the second parallel with mouse button. And same procedure will create the other connections like this. Very easy. Okay. Now. Let us delete these parallels and copy again with the right connection. Press Ctrl button, select, then right click, copy from this secret to this secret. and with mouse button as you see we have created the parallel connections now we'll select these parallels okay and you select the bracing select only the parallels 
okay we want to mirror this pair lens to the other side so now before that we have to again put our working plane at the origin so going to view and work plane select and we have to position here like this okay so now we can mirror these pair lines right click copy special mirror and clear from this point to this point okay so like this we see our pair line already mirrored like this and if we go to any grid, the like grid one, we can see our parallel with the proper connection already created.